A hotly contested election for state Senate in this region features two women with different views on abortion. As political editor John Delano reports, national polls suggest the issue is becoming one of the key factors this election year. When the Supreme Court struck down the constitutional right of women to decide for themselves whether to have an abortion and sent the issue back to state legislatures, it really started to matter who was sent to Harrisburg. When I'm knocking doors, it is coming up all the time. That state Senator Lindsey Williams, a Democratic incumbent, facing a challenge for re-election from State Representative Lori Mazgorski, a Republican. And while both North Hills suburban women can sound alike on some issues, abortion rights is a clear distinction. I believe in the woman's right to choose, that the conversations are very personal with her and her doctor. I am pro-life with exceptions, and I believe that when those exceptions occur, they need to be safe. Republican Ms. Gorski voted for a state constitutional amendment that would declare abortion is not a constitutional right in Pennsylvania, while Democrat Williams opposed that amendment. In the middle of the night, um, the House and Senate Republicans ran a constitutional amendment to ban abortion in Pennsylvania with no exceptions. Um, I voted no against that. One of the things I did support was the constitutional amendment to allow the voters to decide. Voters have strong views. A CBS News Battleground Tracker poll found that the court's action overturning Roe makes 43% of voters more likely to vote for the Democrat and 26% more likely to vote Republican. Ms. Gorski would not directly say she'd outlaw all abortions once fetal life is detected, like many states have done. I would have to look at the bill individually to make that decision. Again, I support women and them considering the other options that they have, but want to protect life. My opponent has voted over and over again to ban abortion, to restrict a woman's right to choose, and to criminalize the doctors who provide necessary health care to women. In the races for the U.S. Senate, governor, congressional, and state house and senate, a woman's right to choose or the sanctity of life, however you wish to put it, is becoming a defining issue. Voters will decide in just six weeks. John Delano, KDKA News.